Hello, welcome to this Sunday session. Bless you all and welcome to our realms. Welcome to Bruce Bricks TV. We'd like to take you this morning on our trip through our realm, a magical kingdom that we have built all out of Lego. Uh, before you are the ground plans. 12 months ago, we came up with a, a scale model of what we would like to represent in Lego form. The red, blue, green, and yellow corners are significant for each quadrant of the realm. So we start in the Blue Mountains where the Blue Falcons reside. We'll take you through a journey over the arch into the Red Lion Kingdom uh, where the castle resides. We will then take you down Dragon Alley which separates the kingdom from the forest. In the forest, you'll meet many interesting characters beyond the dragons of elves and dwarves and forestmen alike. Once we get through the forest, you'll suddenly meet the enemy that is attacking the kingdom, the orcs coming in on their ships to raid the lands. Around the headland, we shall experience the farmlands and the peasantry and the gentry of the lands as we work our way back into the forge and the mines of the Blue Mountain Dwarves. So let's take this journey to another level at the next scale. Let's come what and a join journey. us. Now this is going to be quite the arch. Sorry. So we'll start here. As you can see, the Blue Mountains form behind us. Uh, and out of those mountains, we ground a tower of rock. On the opposite side of the void, the castle had also built their castle tower and together now they have to meet as they face a common enemy. So the blue falcons and the red lions will unite and instead of fighting each other, we will have to fight the invaders of the land. Now there are some quirky little characters up here. We've got a, a knight, a is wizard? he representing a and and the dead person? knight, <laughs> uh, representing all the foes that have fallen in the past. Ah, right. And to start our journey, we meet with the, uh, the elders of the land. So pre-kingdom uh, characters, you'll also notice maybe three musketeers who came from a Muppet type land. These elders are meeting to discuss which factions will join us in our quest. Now this table has been laid out from once we had the tournament years ago. Today, there's no longer fun and games. Now war has descended on the kingdom. So we move from the tournament and from the majestic castle rallying the troops as we come around to take our journey deep into the forest. Now there is uh, quite a number of characters even inside the, uh, the castle, so it may be uh, you might have to pop your head inside and check out all the little characters, the little Easter eggs. There's plenty of little Easter eggs all throughout the, uh, the realms. Even and this if... castle is a carry forward from our previous realms. It is. And we have built around this castle the, the entire lands of the realm. So we'll take you on that journey. So uh, is this where we sort of started the, the, the build and the roads and the water plans from? That's right. So we took uh, this as our inspiration to lead on down this path. So if you can imagine the farmlands that exist around the castle, this is just the tip of the iceberg from which we've taken our provisions to head on, assemble all the troops. Uh, and if we walk further along, you'll notice that all the uh, different factions are starting to form. So come in here and, and look from this angle as all of the different characters form together an alliance, if you will, to defeat the impending attack of the orc. Quite a few uh, animals around the throughout the realms. Uh, yeah, lots so of I chickens. I think we have a chicken count <laughs> nearing the 150 odd in total but there are quite a few even in the scattered remains of the initial farms. There's a lot going on with our rallying of the troops and we've got a bard, we've got cows and the, some of the animals have actually been uh, trained by wizards and the like to oh, take the yes. lead. Yes. We... You can see the, uh, the elephants and the ostrich. Yep, we've got Quite alligators a... and lions and even bears that are all helping form the spearhead of our attack. I do like the, the red and uh, white uh, canopies camps. camps. Yep. Quite the 
Well, the tournament's only just finished. As you can see, if you zoom right in, the crowd are actually still at the stadium and all the troops are amassing at once to embark on this journey. So the crowd that's uh, over there watching the uh, tournament, is that uh, representing uh, each all member? All the factions. All the members? It's a meeting meld of, of all the different parts of the entire realm. Now, I believe there was 26 of us that was part of this build, is that correct? That is exactly right. One wow. for each letter of the alphabet. Oh, there you go. And we so all got knighted and some of us had quadrants to look after. So as we pass through the Dragon Valley, you notice some are friendly and some are foe. So we got some friendly fire and he's obviously burning the bush. But right to the right there is a dragon putting out that fire. There's a lot of chickens in that fire too. They may be roasted. Yes. Now <laughs> some troops, some of these dragons smell, stop and smell the flowers and the lady beetles. Uh -oh. Other dragons. What's going on well, here? Sometimes they've got to eat, right? And they're not herbivores. That's they why are. the Dragon Valley is a treacherous path. <laughs> that yep. leads us though to the forest. Now in the forest you'll find all manner of witches and warlocks and gnomes and elves and dwarves. And to get through here, even some orcs have invaded this land. There's squirrels in the tree and the odd dragon. Oh, they're quite a, uh... deep in the forest. You can see witch hunters and witches bears, uh, dragons that are being trained. I do and like that contrast of the yellow uh, squirrels to the, the green. It just really makes that, uh, that tree pop out. And you can does. see the village, really good. And another chicken at the baseline as well. Ooh. But there's a lot happening within the depths of this forest. But if we just come and explore the deep, deep depths down here, we even have fairies who are harvesting magic mushrooms. Ooh. Now they may become in very handy for the battle. I might need a little bit of a boost for the uh, the oncoming uh, battle. Yes. So these fairies are helping the elves harvest their parts of the land. Some of these trees are over a metre tall, made entirely of Lego, yep. freestanding. Full credit to Marcus Champ, who not only built the castle, but also the tallest trees in the realm. If we focus, you will notice that we are having a meeting now with the, the prince and princess elves to form an alliance, if you will, to help us combat the orcs that we're about to encounter. Now this does light up. Uh, it is actually quite a spectacular little waterfall uh, from the, uh, the wise temple at the back there, right through to the water. Um, hopefully we'll get to see it with some flashing lights later on today. Yeah, they will turn on after our sensory session is concluded this morning. Now, as we move through the forest, sorry, there, there is a lot of uh, interesting trees that have been designed and yes. this is uh, the forestman's hideout so you can see they've got sheepskins stretched out uh, as they're tanning the hides there's a lot of little stories there's a trebuchet there's a train dragon because this is really where the battle is going to begin the uh the way that they've done the hut with the uh the claws is just brilliant that's a good little technique uh, and even the tree stumps and yeah, it's some really clever designs that uh, Anna has done, put together. They are big trees, aren't they? Do you love this Lego show? Yeah. Thanks for coming. <laughs> okay, so speaking of big trees, we're actually going to fell one of these big trees that's in process to block the path from where the orcs have been more raiding. Uh, there's also a cave behind that tree which links to another part of the realm we'll get to later. <coughs> this is where the trebuchet is. So we actually did have a, a few firing uh, tests uh, last show. So hopefully this afternoon we can uh, have another go. Have, yes. I think its last successful attack was on this horseman. Yes. Which is probably why it uh, knocked his hat off a little bit there. So if we pull the... Uh, all good to do it? Yep. Oh, all right. Let's... Here we go. We're going to have a firing. Test firing. Uh, let the expert have I'll a let go. Let the expert come in and he can... Show us, Colin, how your trebuchet fires. Okay. We've got the video rolling. We've got a lever just here and I'm going to try and get into... Get your hand out of the way. Get here my hand goes. out of the way. Watch and the rock. off she goes. Hey. Oh, that's the best one yet. <laughs> I, I Practice makes perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've actually engaged with attacking the orcs. So as you can see, the this whole realm is under siege by a, a, a flotilla. Do At we call least it? a flotilla. Yes. yes. They've oh. got an armada. Oh, an armada of ships have arrived. 
And if we zoom right to the back hills, past the yellow reference to the Lego castle, there is a Stargate. So maybe that's where some of these dinosaurs and other critters are coming uh, from. It is Who true knows? that uh, they did visit a few realmish. They seem to be from another realm to this. That's right. And just to the left of that, a quick glance at all of our brick stacks of the 26 builders that have contributed yes. to this realm, which covers 388 base plates. Oh, wow. Is that a record for the realms? Uh, I think it's a record for our Bridge Bricks collaboration Collaborative? Build, for sure. Fantastic. <laughs> now, Alan, just zoom in slowly as you take in the ocean of the realms and check yeah. out this a mass of ships that are arriving to sweep our land. So there's no more tall trees. Uh, there's no more farms. They've all been raided by the Orcs landing party. And they're starting to really set up camp and really establish themselves in our kingdom. The <laughs> headland has been raised. Yes. We've even sacrificed a goat. Ah, oh, the goat is being sacrificed up the top here. Now, there is a bit of a a backstory to this, but uh, we might leave that for uh, another time. Another time, yeah. Well, we'll move in towards your farmland, oh. Beanie, because I believe there's a bit of a line in the sand here, isn't there? Now, where... you have been saying this all weekend. I'm curious to see. Yeah, I can see the line in the sand. It's the wet sand uh, against the dry yes. sand. Okay. Beyond that, we have lavish farmlands. And in front of that, the farmlands have been ravaged. Yes. But high on the hill, your church. Our church there, that's uh, my Because they always take the high ground. That's it. And There's... take us through some of your components. Okay, I've got uh, the movement on my section. I've decided to add a bit of flair to it. So I've got the water mill obviously at the front. There's a horse mill crushing at the back there. Crushing the corn. Crushing the corn. It's been freshly picked off the farmlands. There is also uh, at the front, the dragons chasing the- Twin uh, eagles. The twin eagles. Yes. The bald eagle and uh, not sure what the uh, red one is. Uh, and also a mill that is uh, separating the wool to spin the wool just underneath the trees. Very well done. I yes. think the red eagle is uh, native to the realm. Ah, okay. So that one. And, and note, nod to Doctor Who. The oh, yes, of course. Have, so have popped into the realm. The Doctor and Clara actually visited uh, Robin Hood era. Now, if you just focus down at the front here, you might spot the... The two Robins, Robin Hood meeting Batman and Robin. Is there Robin? a Robin in the tree as well? Oh, no, just the, the, the two little references at the ah. front here. But I will have to find oh, a I Robin. Thought that, I thought that might have been a white oh, Robin. Yep, a white Robin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, as we move into the farmlands, you can see quite a few trees with various fruits of the realm. Uh, <laughs> yep. There's another one of those eagles that are uh, native yes. to the realm. Yes. There's a pumpkin tree. We've even got a chicken tree. Now, people have been asking, is the, uh, the squashed chicken eggs count as part of the chicken Well, count? which They're came like, well, first, chicken or the egg? Well, I yeah. Mean, do you count your chickens before they hatch? That's it. That's, yeah, That's so, the question you've got to ask yourself. So how many chickens are there really? And the other question is, why is there a pumpkin tree? Well, it's um, nearly Halloween. It, that's right. It's so big Halloween. You need to grow pumpkins. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a large vine. Uh, more little dragons on top of the roof. Uh, the Marcus has built. Yeah, and, and grapes in the field. I think they've harvested the Sauvignon, ah, yes. but they haven't harvested the Cabernet yet. No, right. and they are having a bit of a feast in the middle there too. Oh, they are. They, they really, st oh, even Emmett's got into a little, yeah. little oh. tipple. Uh, a lovely connecting scene that we have between the farmlands and the mountain forge is this, where we can see a Clydesdale horse has been stopped. So the forestmen seem to have fallen a tree and taken some of the riches of the land to the side. So uh, I think there's a little bit of pillage going on within the factions. There <laughs> is actually something rather strange going on over here. Maybe oh. our uh, young builder might be able to explain the story behind that one. So basically, the... Um, close yes. enough. Um, the... Uh, the forest people have dug a trench all the way from over there, Back to our over yonder, cave that we pointed out earlier, to the cave, all the way up to this little cave. Yes, there is actually a Lego trench all the way under those tables. There is. We can't show you, 
but it does connect the other side of the realm. I would not like to have dug it. <laughs> no, it's hard no, to dig through those clever. bricks. Yeah. But thank you very much um, for your Clydesdale contribution. I think that's a stunning horse. Thank you. Yes. I'm very happy with so that horse. Are they robbing from the rich and giving they to the are. poor? <laughs> They're robbing from whoever they see oh, and okay. giving to whoever they want. Thanks right. very much. Thank you do, for that. Do you see before you the lava? Johnny, would you like to speak of your lava field and, and the forge beneath? It's a lava field and it's extremely delicate. Uh, it's, you don't want to move it because it'll fall apart, but it's got lights underneath. Uh, the lights went through several lots of testing to make sure it doesn't melt the, uh, the plastic. And uh, Beanie, if you could just hold that for a second. Oh, here's the big reveal. There is a forge in there. Underneath there's the, the beginnings of a forge. That's where they basically take all the, all the coins they make upstairs and they take and it some around. some of the stories around. We've got Anakin, I believe, having his lava fight. Oh, yes. So Anakin and Dobie won a doing their final battle up the corner. Battle of corner. And big hit today. Oh, and Minecraft. Minecraft Steve. accurate. The water is flowing over source blocks of lava, making obsidian, and that Steve's mining it with a diamond pickaxe. Ah. So he won't lose it. So. Oh. And there's oh. uh, uh, a nether wart around there and a bit of nether wart at the front. Uh, and in a front giant of the chicken in, inside the cave. Yes. And who's the character cooking the up the uh, hot dog, here, the sausage? Nice alley. I don't know whether it's Chip or Dale, but it's one of them. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Now, the big chickens, they are counted or not counted? They are part? counted. They are, they are but, counted, okay. And I think that's pushed us past 150 Ooh, odd. Oh, wow, eh? So okay. The full count has not been revealed as yet. Now, other riches of the land are being hoarded by the dragon, and there are even dragon raiders going down the well. There's a lot going on in this part of the realm as there we come up to the mountain. A lot of value right there with all that gold and jewels and everything. No wonder there's a dragon uh, holding the fort and making sure no one. We'll one's... just go over the back and there is another TARDIS that has suddenly oh. appeared. Oh, he has. It looks like it's, uh, it's the 10th Doctor appearing and it looks like Indiana Jones is there too. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of pop culture references. Let's <laughs> see if we can pick them all out. Uh, Alan, as we come up the mountain, there's a rock lobster, B-52 oh, references. Clever. Up on top we have Witcher, we have Red Sonja, we have Assassin's Creed. Uh, there are so many there I don't even know them all. I think this one here might be uh, something from the... Um, uh, I've just forgotten his name. Uh, Mission Impossible, sorry. Oh, right. a bit yes. of Tom Cruise actually Tom Cruise, going on. yes. So, uh, this leads us to the top of the realm. We have a couple of castles. One is so far up that it's become frozen. The front one, though, has the peak. We even have another eagle that hasn't quite landed. Now, that uh, symbol on top of the castle, is that uh, representing the eye of uh, Lord of the Rings? or mm, not, sure. not sure. It might be a Witcher reference Witcher reference, or something. okay. Ah, but it's all cool. There's a lot of little stuff. I just spotted uh, um, right up the top here. You've got uh, oh. uh, <laughs> next to Red Sonia. Yeah, I oh, uh, don't know. That's all good. It's all good. No, there's a lot of little characters all over the place. There's even chickens being eaten up here. Yes, oh. we, we love the detail of where the chickens are hidden Look in Darth the building. Darth Vader up there. Could be Darth Vader too. So. Further down, then we've got a lot more stories going on, uh, buildings under construction. I'd like to point out to you again another base plate. So this is how we construct our mills to connect all of the, uh, the realm. There's 388 of these base plates. There's a nice edging done there for the deep water effect. And Scooby and Shaggy have definitely got their little uh, hoard themselves as they're heading off with as much food as they can carry. Now, I think these uh, little animals have been quite the uh, thing for the children to spot. They all see these little uh, turtles hatching and they're just absolutely love them. There's little ducks all over the place as well. Uh, sea otters. It's just a lot going on. It's, you could spend hours and hours just watching. I love looking. the serpent that's really popping. Oh, I think we found the ring. Oh, yes. Gollum's well, nearly got it back in his does. clutches. Yep. This is a nice little... Uh, 
steam powered boat at the front here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look, I just spotted Batman. <laughs> He's harpooning a shark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. where's his can of uh, shark repellent? <laughs> Adrian's done a great job of melding this into the rock face of the massive dwarven mine. So as we come around to the, the last part of the realm, uh, I know it's been a long journey and, and it's been rather challenging to get all the way around and tell you the entire story. But we've done our best to highlight this dwarven mine was a, was a roller coaster and it was running for four hours the other day. It's not running at the moment. Uh, you can see the orcs have attacked this part of the land. There's a lot of battle going on. There's a lot of dead skeletons being raised. Um, but the reason why the track's not working is the trolls have oh, even look at that. They've actually destroyed the, the tracks. The gold carts and, and are starting to raid the riches of this yes. land. So the highlight of this section is definitely the waterfall with a huge dwarven statue. And you can just see the gold flecks flowing through that water. It's, it's a, quite a remarkable build when you see this in full flight. And again, the two castles right on top to uh, cap off our realms. So thank you for joining us on, yes. on this thank amazing you for this journey that we've... Sunday session of uh, Briz Bricks. And we've spent a year putting this together. Thank <laughs> yes. you for contributing, Mike. Yes, absolutely. And one of our 26 builders. <laughs> um, and thanks for joining us on Briz Bricks TV for Briz Bricks' biggest collaborative build yet. And we hope to... Uh, bring you something bigger and better again next year. Thanks for coming and tuning in.